This is a picture of the heart. The heart has been opened along the left ventricle, as you can see the left ventricular wall here. Here we're looking at the aortic valve and the ascending aorta. The obvious pathology is seen as a localized dilatation or outpouching of the left ventricle in the area of the apex. This is known as an aneurysm. Essentially, this is the same process that can occur in blood vessels where the wall is damaged or is weakened by various pathologies. Now, let's think about what are some of the potential consequences of such a pathology. Well, if you notice uh, that in this area, in the aneurysm itself, the wall is actually very thinned, and this is very dangerous, which could potentially lead to rupture. When the blood exits uh, the wall of the left ventricle, it gets entrapped in the pericardial sac. And this is a condition that is known as cardiac tamponade and is rapidly fatal. Another potential complication or consequence of left ventricular aneurysm is actually something that has already occurred here. If you think about uh, the path of blood flow in this abnormal area of dilatation, you can pretty much work out that it is going to be turbulent. In other words, there is loss of laminar blood flow. And this then predisposes the patient, as you have learned in Verkhaus triad, to thrombosis. So this whole area here is actually in the inner part of the aneurysm itself. Uh, you can see alternating paler areas of platelets and fibrin with darker areas composed of red blood cells. And this characteristic layered appearance is what we see in arterial thrombi. And they are described as lines of zan. So in this picture, the diagnosis is left ventricular aneurysm with thrombosis. So now if we pull back and we try to figure out what other information can be gleaned from looking at this picture, if you're observant, you actually notice that the wall of the ventricle here is actually significantly thinned. And this is most likely due to loss of myocardial tissue from previous myocardial infarction and a replacement by fibrosis, much, as, much uh, the same as what you saw in the picture of a healed myocardial infarction. And as you know, because the wall here is so thin, it therefore is much weaker and is less elastic and therefore is prone to formation of aneurysm. And this whole uh, pathology is most likely due to underlying ischemic heart disease.